gonna go to a supermarket, get some fruit, some uh, stuff to uh, eat in between. So uh, hopefully they got everything we need right here. We're trying to find some fruit, nuts, Greek yogurt. You, you try to keep it as much uh, the same as possible, but since we're in Brazil now, it's gonna change a little bit. You know, since I'm a heavyweight, I don't have to cut weight, but I just need to keep my body fueled, of course, and, and healthy, so we're just trying to get the right stuff now. I don't want to say what that looks like. <laughs> That's the exact candle I actually have at home, and I light like every night before bed. Because, you yeah, know, we're staying here a little extra long, so it's kind of nice to make it a little more homey. You guys want to know why this shirt is special, this one? I wore it for the first day of my first Strike Force check-in. You did! Woohoo! Wonder how many times have you two been in Brazil? This is my sixth time here. Yeah. Yeah. It's Almost a Brazilian girl. <laughs> I, I would be if they let me. <laughs> really? I love it here. I love fighting here. I, I always fought above myself in Brazil. I, I called them lucky cities. I had like two luckiest cities. It was Rio and Budapest were my, my two luckiest cities where I always like fought the best. So if I, I was ever fighting down here, I'd get really excited about it. Yo, Rana. How are you guys doing? Great. Why does Betch Korea put such a, a big target on you? And is this kind of a uh, be careful what you wish for type scenario? This is definitely the most personal fight that I've ever had. But when I go in there, I don't go in there emotional. She's going to get the cold calculated wrath that I'm known for. Petch Kohei is definitely my biggest challenge to date. She's an undefeated fighter, a pure MMA fighter with no gaps in her game. But the fact remains that I'm still the best in the world. I expect it to be a a really gritty fight and that's what I'm ready for and that's the thing I could fight any kind of style you want to make it technical I'll make it pretty I'll make it look beautiful you want to brawl I'll make it the worst fight you've ever been in your life after I beat Betch and teach her a lesson and respect I'm going to jump into the arms of my family and go eat some buffalo wings if I could find them in Rio <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I haven't dropped it yet. You no, know, not yet. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Cheguei, Brasil! É o meu sonho, é a minha vida. Eu nasci para ser lutadora, eu nasci para ser estrela, eu nasci para ser campeã do mundo. Agora chegou a hora dela cumprir a promessa dela, trazer o cinturão, a décima luta, a décima vitória. Oh, minha preparação já acabou, já estou pronta. Agora só é manutenção mesmo, não parar. O corpo tem que estar na inércia da luta o tempo inteiro. Olá! Seguinte, eu não tenho nada a perder, só tenho a ganhar com essa luta. Então acho que é isso que me faz manter a calma. Uma coisa que eu vejo na minha frente é a minha adversária. Quem está pondo o cinturão em risco é a Ronda. Então acho que eu só tenho a ganhar com essa luta, eu não, eu não vejo nenhuma desvantagem. Quem, quem tá perdendo a sua invencibilidade, quem tá deixando ser invicto, quem vai deixar de ser campeã é a Ronda. A pressão é dela, eu tô aqui para atrás de conquistas. Então no Brasil é, é sempre bom estar em casa, né? A TV é um assento dos fãs, um reconhecimento, então a gente fica muito feliz por isso. Sou Ronda Rousey versus Betty Corrigue, lutando pelo cinturão peso pelo feminino. Acho que é inevitável essa luta tá boa. Eu treinei bastante, estou preparado. Essa semana é só refinar a parte tática e vamos para a luta. Acabei de comer. Né? 270 more. Yeah, five pounds. I love to live in this city. It's a wonderful city, so beautiful. And I train with the best team in, in Brazil here with Nova Unio. And I'm here for eight years enjoying that city and I love it here. And it may be just one where you're just like, like a victory. Yeah. 
140. But how many posts should have you signed? Oh, 140. Exactly, like over a million. <laughs> We made a very good fight 10 years ago. I want so much this victory. I think for me it's just, that's more important. I'm going to win this fight. I've gotten a lot of positive feedback from my fights. It seems like people love them. And some people, it's like, we give a mouse a cookie, you know? I gave them a bunch of really decisive finishes. They're like, oh, we want something different. It's just impossible to make everybody happy, so I should just worry about making myself and my family happy. And maybe that's why I'm wrong, you know? It wouldn't make my family happy to drag it out. Rhonda had this idea, well, I'm gonna beat her up and I'm gonna do this, and I, I said, that's a really stupid idea because even if somebody has a one in a million chance per second of beating you, if you let it go 60 seconds when you could have done it in 10, you gave them six times the chance. That's just stupid. And I said, look, if you want to get even, embarrass somebody, do whatever, you know, do a back bend on her arm and make it go 45 degree angle. You know, that's one way to do it without giving me a heart attack. I give Betch so much respect as an athlete, whereas she just hopes that somehow I'm going to be mentally weakened or something. Why are you hoping for me to fuck up? You should be hoping for yourself to be good and assume that I'm gonna be fantastic. Nice job.